Welcome to the Dodger Game Channel. You're watching a Mormon Truth video. Today is Sunday, August 19th, and yeah, it's been a while. So today's first video is going to be about the fruits of the gospel as shown by statistical evidence, which we will take a look at right now. This is inspired by a uh, conversation I had with my TBM lawyer son yesterday, in which he said, Dad, but what about the fruits of the gospel? So that reminded me that the fruits of the gospel were touted in the book Marvelous Work in a Wonder, or A Marvelous Work in a Wonder, by Le Elder Legrand Richards, which I read quite a long time ago, and touted things like uh, low cancer rates in Utah, showing us that the uh, gospel must be true. So, we've got a lot more statistics available today. Let's take a look at a few of them. First of all, we've got to know where we've got our most Mormons by percentage. Oh, by the way, I'll probably put some of this information up on my website, which is called Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub. It's housed at weebly.com, so that's .weebly.com. Keeping it free in case those Danites get to me. Okay, let's go. Where do we have the most members of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints? We're going to go to utahvalley360.com. This is provided to us, a chart provided by Natalie Rosenloff. Thanks, Natalie. She's got Utah coming in number one in the United States on a percentage basis. Saying She says we've got 55% Mormon population in Utah. Idaho, number two at 19. Wyoming, coming in third with 9%. Then we go Arizona, Alaska at 5. Each, Nevada and Oregon and Montana at 4%. Hawaii and Washington State at 3 So, which wish, wish, wish my son had uh, not made it. Well, he did a gr some good things on my phone yesterday to help me, but that split screen thing was kind of cool, except I had it too much of the time when I didn't want it, and I guess it's just disappeared. So let's try to remember these again real quick. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Arizona, Alaska, Nevada, Oregon, Montana, Hawaii, and Washington. And now we're going to see how these states do with important statistics that tell us how the gospel is helping us live better, happier lives. Okay. What do we got? Which state... Which state, which U.S. state, pursuit? Come on now, get out of there, huh? States with the most Mormons. States with the highest porn use. Okay, let's get rid of that because I've already got the answer. And it's... Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to have to click on it again. Well, let's click on it. All right, state consumes the most porn. Good question. Utah should be the lowest, right? Because it's got the most Mormons, but... Oh, Utah is the number one user of porn. Utah was the first state to declare pornography as a public health crisis. Meanwhile, a 2009 report indicated that Utah was the top state for online porn subscriptions. Utah is famous for its religious zeal, and now it's porn use. Ouch. Hey, they just weren't listening to the prophet. Or maybe they were following his example. Who knows? Okay. <sighs> Foreclosure rates. We've been told the Lord's law of financial success is living the gospel, especially paying tithing. In fact, the Book of Mormon says that if you keep the commandments, you will prosper in the land. Didn't work for me, but let's see how it works for people in the Mormon states. Okay, what do we got here? The state of Nevada, one of the Mormon states, had the highest state foreclosure rate for the fourth year in a row. All right. Next, Arizona had second highest foreclosure rate. Ouch. This is uh, like 2010, by the way, when we kind of had the financial crisis going on. You know, when the pressure's on? See how it squeezes people who pay tithing. So, Mormon states got the top two. Florida's got number three. 
a lot of Mormon land there by the church, but I don't think that counts. The seven other states in the top ten included the country's highest included in the in the country's ten highest foreclosure rates by state were California, next Utah, then Georgia and Michigan, and then Idaho at number nine. So in the top nine, we've got four of the largest percentage Mormon states, including Utah and Idaho, the top two. Actually, I think we got the top four. All right, so um, the Lord's Law of Finance leads to foreclosure is what the statistics seem to be telling me. Wow, what happened to those blessings, guys? All right, porn, foreclosure, let's go to divorce rate by state. Divorce rates in Utah, no doubt, because we've got the gospel there. So let's look. All right. Oklahoma, the worst in the nation. Second, Nevada, a Mormon state. Third, Wyoming, a Mormon state. Fourth, Texas. Fair amount of Mormons there, but not enough. Fifth, Idaho, Mormonism's second highest percentage state. Sixth is Arkansas. Seventh is Alaska, one of the top ten Mormon states. All right, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and then 14th in the nation is Utah, 15th, Washington, another Mormon state, and Arizona, a Mormon state, next, then Maine, then Oregon, another Mormon state. So, 7 out of the top 10 Mormon states are in the top 20 for the highest rates of divorce. Families can be together forever unless you live in a Mormon state. It's not me, folks. It's statistics. Hey, Dave. David. Okay, next. What about all this business about kids killing themselves in Utah? Well, a little Google search here. Um, Utah youth suicide now leading cause of death for Utah kids ages 11 through 17. KUTB Utah. Suicide rates are skyrocketing and now the leading cause of death for Utah youth. Whatever happened to drowning in the pool or the creek? Now the number one cause of death for ages 11th set through 17 in Utah is suicide. We haven't even gotten to antidepressant use yet. Let's see what Utah is overall for suicide. Here you go. USA states rank for suicide. All right, and our fruits for the gospel, number one state, Montana, a Mormon state. Number two, Alaska, a Mormon state. Number three, Wyoming, a Mormon state. Next is New Mexico, giving us a little break. Then we go with Utah, Nevada, and Idaho. Six of the top states for suicide in the United States are Mormon states. Utah coming in number five in the nation for the highest rate of suicide. Hey, you don't want your kid to commit suicide? Move to California. They only have 10 <clears throat> per 100,000 compared to Utah's 21. Or maybe you'd be better off in D.C., but that's not talking about kids so much, probably a bunch of politicians not committing suicide because they got loads of your tax dollars to spend in their expense accounts. Well, that's it, people. Here you go. Mormonism dominating suicide, divorce, and foreclosure. These are the fruits of the gospel according to verifiable statistical analysis. Well, Joe, there's your answer, bro. I don't think I want to move to Utah. In the name of Jesus Christ, dodge a game out.